Welcome to Seneschal, everyone. Today we'll be doing a little wish listing. I have some hopes for the beta codex for Sisters of Battle. Let's go through the current index, talk about what changes I am hoping to see, abilities, point cost, and the like, and then touch on some models that I hope we might get as part of new kits. So let's get started. First with Celestine. I think she's in a great position, and the only thing I think she needs is some sort of unique warlord trait. Whether that be a Sisters specific one that they will generate, or a recycled one from before, I don't particularly want to see her with the old one she had, which was just the leadership buff to sisters' models around her, because I don't feel like that's particularly useful in general. Though they might just do that to make it so she's not the auto warlord that she is right now. I'm also interested to see if she gets an, an order keyword, uh, since she was technically Order of Our Martyred Lady, I believe. Part of me hopes she does, since I really want to see some more characters make their way into the Codex so that everything isn't focused on the Order of Our Martyred Lady. I don't think she's going to get an order key, but it'd be interesting if they did. Next we have the Canonist. I love the current Canonist, and there's only one thing I'm desperate for, and that is the option to have a Canonist with a jump pack or some other fast-moving equivalent in order to keep up with the high-speed part of the sister's attack. Even if it was a special character like Ephriel Stern, who was a Seraphim Superior rather than a Canonist, I think there's precedent for a model in other codexes giving that reroll ones bubble. Other than that, I really don't have anything else that jumps to mind for the Canonist, other than give me rules for Viridian. I don't care if she is fine cast. I want to run her, and I want to run her as the character she was in 7th edition. I don't care if she has slightly different special rules. Just give me a character for that character model. Staying in order of the index, next we have the Amagifier. I'm going to sidetrack slightly right now. I want to see the Acts of Faith rule scale based on the size of the Sisters of Battle Force you are taking. Even if that means the Amagifier needs an overhaul or that they put a maximum limit for Acts of Faith in a turn or a round, something along the lines of a detachment that gives less CP than a battalion provides the current one Act of Faith on a two-up, but a battalion, say, gives three chances on a two-up, and a brigade gives four on a two-up, or four individual rolls each on a two-up succeeding for Acts of Faith. I'm not saying this is perfectly balanced or, you know, wouldn't need some testing to figure out where the balancing line is, but I just don't like the idea of someone splashing a patrol detachment of sisters getting the same access to Acts of Faith as a dedicated sisters player taking a brigade. I just I don't think that makes sense, and I'd, I'd like to see that get tweaked. All right, back to where we were. I think the Amagifier needs to either be limited by total Acts of Faith um, in the Acts of Faith phase, or it needs to provide a different bonus. I wouldn't mind limiting total Acts of Faith in the Acts of Faith phase. It should be a strong rule that makes sisters what they are, but I, I don't think it needs to have every single model in the army with the Act of Faith special rule being able to do an Act of Faith every turn either. Somewhere balanced in the middle, I think, is fine. Hospitalers need two things. Uh, they need to get cheaper, and they need to just automatically work. No rolling on a four-up. They're returning a single wound model, that, so currently it's difficult for them to even make up their points in the course of a game, and I think those two changes would allow them to have a place in lists that take especially abdal wounds in fire bases for, say, your retributors. Dialogus needs to do something different, whether it's a flat increase in leadership or have an incredibly high leadership value that they share instead of just the reroll. I, I just don't think... Unless they completely remake how sisters' armies are built, you know, make it so that massive units of battle sisters or dominions or retributors have a, a purpose. I just don't think the dialogos will have any place in the game if it's just providing a reroll, to be perfectly frank. Battle sister squads are in a good place. I think the only things I would tweak about them is maybe the army wide making them one point cheaper. I don't think that sisters need a massive overhaul, but the stat line they lose to space marines is substantial, and people talk about space marines being expensive. Imagine if those same people were talking about a T3 model that hits on fours in melee and doesn't have a free reroll for leadership. I don't know. I think one point would feel impactful without being obscenely too cheap. That being said, if they don't change a thing about battle sister squads, I'm, I'm not really going to have anything to complain about either. Seraphim are next, and honestly, they're great. I don't think I would change a thing. I think they figured out the role that they want Seraphim to play, and they fulfill that role nicely. 
I think they're appropriately costed. I think the only thing that I don't like about them is that hand flamers feel really underwhelming. But that being said, I'm not sure that if hand flamers got buffed, I would still take hand flamers because Inferno pistols are so good for what Seraphim are and allow you to have that very nimble vector to get those four melt gun shots that sisters desperately need to try and take out any sort of higher armor or any sort of characters. I just I think the Inferno pistols just fit sisters much better um, for what that unit is and how they move better than the hand flamers would. I will say one nitpicky thing I'd like to see is for the Seraphim Superior to be take a, be able to take an Inferno pistol instead of a plasma pistol and possibly some other power weapon other than a power sword, especially something like a power maul. But again, like I said, that's nitpicky, and if nothing else changes about Seraphim, I'll be okay. They're, they're, they're in a fine place. Celestins comes next, and there are two things I would like to see for them. First, I'd like to see them be able to take more weapon options, whether that's more special or more heavy weapons, since they are the Elite Sisters, I think it would make sense for them to have access to whatever weapons the Order has access to. Um, barring that, I would really love for them to be able to fill the role that they had in 7th edition as the Sororitas Command Squad, and be able to have each model in the unit take melee weapons. They have an increased attack characteristic, they have an improved hit roll for the unit. Having a unit of 10 with power malls could be a useful alternative to Repentia that isn't going to give the same threat of AP, but is going to be a good option for clearing chaff. and is going to be able to chew through Space Marines or Chaos Space Marines. Not quickly, but they, they can actually have that fight. I think they would have a place in a list as an alternative melee option that's still in Power Armor for Sisters. I think that's a really cool place for them to possibly be. Uh, that brings us to the Mistress of Repentance. She just needs to be cheaper. I think her cost is the on the prohibitive side, and I think she needs to give herself the bonuses as well as to Repentia models. I mean, she's she's shepherding them i really don't see why she wouldn't give the bonuses that she's inspiring them to, to to herself as well to lead by example i think those two quality of life improvements would make her feel much better on the table which leads us to repentia themselves uh, they need more work than probably any other model in the index they're 17 points a model which is the same as a plague marine or a death company with a jump pack that's an astounding difference in what you're paying for versus what you're getting. First and foremost, they just need to have real eviscerators. I don't know why they got bad versions of an eviscerator to begin with. They can stay the same cost, but their damage output needs to jump, and that change would go a long way towards fixing it. They also need to hit on a better number or get, like, say, one more attack each, either one. And lastly, I think they need to have a feel no pain equivalent or a plus one or a reroll to their invulnerable save. These changes may not make them omnipresent on the table, but it would make them feel like they have a place and a purpose you're taking them for, other than just, hey, I own four units of Repentia and I really like how they look, so I'm gonna take them in this list just because I feel like it. So, Retributors are next. I think by and large, they don't need anything. I wouldn't mind if they had some sort of special rule, but if they made it like a stratagem, uh, like uh, the Space Wolf Longfangs. There we go. Uh, if it was that they had a stratagem like Longfangs have, I think that would be really cool as well. Dominions are in a similar boat to Seraphim in that they're really good, fulfill a role, do it well, and they have an incredible special rule. Their Vanguard rules is just super strong, especially since the game has changed around them and their rule hasn't changed. So infiltrators and deep strikers have gotten weaker but vanguard has stayed just as powerful as it was the first day the index dropped so and i guess in a way it's even stronger just because they're unique in that ability uh the sororitas rhino is fine it's solid doesn't need any changes i don't think at all uh the emulator could maybe use a slight points break especially for the multi melta version since compared to the repressor it just doesn't feel like it fits and after the Repressor point cost increase, I don't know if the Repressor needs another price increase, as much as I'd just like to see the Immolator come down a little bit to make it more competitive for your transport options. Outside of the Repentia, the next model is probably in need of tweaking, and that is the Exorcist. 
The price is just far too high for it, in my opinion, even after the price drop last year. But if we were to keep the cost the same, I still think that it absolutely has a place. I just think a couple of things would make it feel like it could ch actually have a chance to earn those points. First, I think you can give it the active space special rule. I completely see why transports do not need the active faith rule. Because the vanguard move should be special. The seraphim and celestine's ability to zip around the table should be special. Repressors should not be able to cover 24 inches every turn. But I think giving the active faith to the pipe organs of doom would not break the game and would instantly give it a purpose and put it more in line with, say, something like Lehman Russ's that get to shoot twice. Giving it that chance to shoot twice in a turn gives it double the chances to earn its point back on that expensive price you paid for it. The second thing is I'd like to see it just go to flat 3 damage. You already have random shots. Why its damage output needs to be so much lower than the melta options we have all over the army just makes no sense to me. I think putting it on par with other artillery pieces would go a long way in letting the random shots not feel like a big deterrent to taking it as your heavy support choice. Uh, now before we go completely into the ethereal wishlist land, I have one other thing I desperately want to see, and that is a return of the Penitent Engine into the Sororitas Tag Umbrella. Even if it lo re loses the rerolls to hit for doing so, I think it is a model that's been part of Sisters. It comes with a sister to model on the front for a reason. So I really want to see it come back onto the fold with the Sororitas tag. All right, now on to things I'd like to see introduced. First, as I mentioned before, I'd like to see more characters. Ephriel Stern, Canonist Viridian, Sister Miria, or some new ones they can create for, for the Codex and we get fleshed out in novels or audio dramas. Preferably sisters that come from varied orders. Flesh out some of the orders that have been lost in the shuffle for far too long. Second, I'm hoping there's some sort of fast melee option, like Assault Marines. I don't think bikes fit what sisters would be about, uh, preferring the emulator for that quick-moving heretic burning power. But a more melee-focused sisters jump infantry could be fun and something completely different. They're never going to be a match for other armies in raw strength, but sisters have always been about making the most of their pure and earnest desire to serve the Emperor in the face of incredible odds. Their safety and ability to make it out of combat has always felt overwhelmed by their desire to purge, um, bringing the Emperor's justice. So a melee jump troop feels reasonable, I think. Uh, something else I'd like to see is some new weapons. And when I say that, I don't mean access to LAS cannons, because I don't want that at all. I like the idea of the Trinity as that special sister's tag, that special sister's idea. More along the lines of something like a new Bolter variant, a new Melta variant, a new Flamer. Mm -hmm. Something that it falls in the triumvirate of sister's weapons they've always used, but something that the Ecclesiarchy found in STC4 or Call MacGuffined into existence. A super heavy Bolter, uh, an improved Flamer or Melta. Nothing that tips the world on its ear, but something uniquely sister's would be nice. Uh, lastly, I'd love to see the old Forge World options just included in the Codex. They haven't made f repressors in years. They changed the point cost in the chapter approved last year. Just put the repressor in the Codex. They could even make a repressor upgrade kit in plastic or make a sister's kit that builds a rhino repressor, emulator, and exorcist. I mean, there's, there's no reason they couldn't do that. It's one extra bit added to that current emulator kit. And I also want to see them add the Avenger Strike Fighter as well. Tweak the rules slightly if needed, make it a Sorority Strike Fighter again. Changing the loadout to make it uniquely Sisters is relatively simple. Take away some of the missiles that they wouldn't use, add something else, or just more heavy bolter or bolt cannon shots. Put those back in the list building options. I'd like to have a fire. Even if they don't get taken all the time, I just would like to have access to it. Well, those are some thoughts on what I'd like to see with the coming of the Beta Codex and Chapter Approved in a, just a couple of months. A little bit less than two months if last year's indicative of future results, which it probably isn't. But let me know what you think. Agree, disagree, think I'm making Sisters the most overpowered thing ever seen. What would you tweak? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you like what I do and would like to see more. Uh, any requests, go ahead and put those in the comment section as well. Thank you for your time. Good luck with your wargaming, and Ave Emperor.